Google has just launched a new UI designing AI tool called Stitch and it is currently in beta access and pretty much everyone can access it for free. Now the cool thing about Stitch by Google is that you can go ahead and give a simple text prompt and optionally attach an image and ask the AI to create stunning looking UIs for your next mobile app or web app and the AI will do it in seconds. And the best part, it is completely free to use. And if you do want to use the same, all you gotta do is to head over to this link right here which says stitch.withgoogle.com or just click the first link in the description below and you land on this page right here. And now this is where all the magic happens. So basically how it works is that you go ahead and describe exactly what you want to design and click on this option that says generate design and now the AI will go ahead and create a new UI design that you can instantly copy, get code or even import to Figma. Let me show you. So first thing first, head over to stitch.withgoogle.com and sign up for a new account using your Google account obviously. And towards the center, you will find an input box and all you gotta do is to describe exactly what you want to design in plain English. So in this case, let's say I want to create a UI for a movie streaming app. So I can just go ahead and say a movie streaming app. And if you want to, you can go ahead and give a more elaborative prompt. So in this case, I've given a simple one saying a movie streaming app and I'll select it as mobile and I'll click on this generate design option and let's wait. So as you can see, Stitch by Google is now working on it and it is asking me for some details. Could you please list the specific screens you would like to include in your movie streaming app? For example, you might want a home screen, a search screen, a screens for a specific movie, etc. So I can go ahead and say a home page a trending movie section search section let's say profile section movie details page and maybe also a movie playback page okay so these are all the oops, trending so these are all the screens that i want and now i'll click on this button right here the pencil icon and that should be it now stitch is currently working on your project and within seconds it will go ahead and create all of that and it is asking design for your movie streaming app will include a home page trending movie section search section profile section movie details movie playback page do you want to proceed with generating these screens and it will go ahead and say yes and if you want to make any changes you can go ahead and exactly mention that in here and now let's wait all right so there you go here we have all of this design so this right here is our home page and we have this popular movie section 90s nostalgia collections we have a lot of these thumbnails and this right here is the trending section this is the search results page this is the profile page then we have which i guess is a category page i guess and we also i mean movie playback page and this is the movie details page so these are all the screens that the ai has created for us okay so looks good and next up i went ahead and asked the ai to create one for a music streaming app i just went ahead and told a music streaming app and this is what it has generated so this right here is the search page with a search box and all these thumbnails or categories images and to be honest all these thumbnail design looks pretty similar to that of spotify i mean the entire design kind of looks very close and similar to spotify then here we have the library section then we have the main page playback page and settings page and next up if you want to let's say create additional pages you can go ahead and ask the ai to do it for example i can go ahead and say can you create a new page for a sharing sharing screen and now let me go ahead and send and let's see what happens all right so there you go here we have this sheet element containing a lot of these sharing options like copy link messages instagram stories snapchat and more okay so you can actually go ahead and ask the ai to create even more screens and you can take it like that and now if i head back and let's just go ahead and uh, come to this page right here and if i want to let's say change some elements within this design i got options for that and if i click on this edit theme option right here i should be able to select the color scheme that i want to use for example let's keep it as this one right here switch between light mode and dark mode i can adjust the corner radius and even select a font as well so in this case let's keep it as uh enter maybe and i click on apply themes option and now all these changes should be instantly made live so let's wait all right so there you go here we have the updated color scheme font and corner radius and to be honest i like this one the most and now the interesting part right here is that if you want to you can actually go ahead and directly copy and paste the same into figma and you can take it up from there for example let's say i want to copy this page from here so all i gotta do is to hit that one and i can click on this button that says figma okay let's wait for it and it says design copy to clipboard 
press command V or control V to paste it in Figma. Okay, great. So here I have opened up a empty Figma project. I'm in the page one and let's just go ahead and click command V and there you go. I now have that design pasted here in Figma and if I expand, I can find all these individual sections and if I want to make any changes, I can go ahead and select that. For example, this one right here. Now this one, I can target and find individual elements, change the text, the corner radius, the color schemes and all that. I can adjust all of that directly within Figma. And now that is how simple it is to use Stitch by Google. And next up, if you want to edit any page or screen that the AI has created for you, you have options for that as well. For example, this one right here. So I can click on this edit button and the same will be added in the chat section. And now I can go ahead and describe the changes I have to make and press enter and the AI will do it. So that is how simple it is. And next up, maybe I can head back and try to create a design for a web app. So I'll select the web option and now I'll go ahead and say a music streaming web app or maybe let's say web app and hit generate design and let's see all right so there you go a music streaming web app and this right here is the home page and here we have the search results page all right so looks good and next up this right here is the library page liked song section then we have the music player page and it kind of looks good i mean you can go ahead and edit it with ai anyways and this right here is the i guess the playlist page okay all of that looks good and next up, if you go ahead and click on this drop down menu right here and select experimental mode, you will be able to attach images like sketch, mockup or visual inspiration and then ask the AI to turn it into let's say a design. So I'll go ahead and select a photo and I'll go ahead and say a banking app and I'll select it as mobile and I'll click on generate design and let's see what happens. So basically we went ahead and uploaded a image and gave a description as to a banking app. And now let's see if the AI is able to pick or let's say take inspiration from the screenshot that we uploaded and design the design accordingly. So let's see. So this right here is the initial version of the design that the AI has generated and it is not close. I mean, it has actually, okay, it kind of looks good, right? So it looks pretty similar to that of the third layout right here. So yeah, that's how it is. And now I can hit back. And if you want to, you can also go ahead and check out all these examples in here. So this one right here is a board game club planner and then we have a homemade pizza cooking ally class hmm, not bad and next up we have a employee feedback dashboard and not bad look good so basically how it works is that you go ahead and give a simple text description or a prompt and ask the ai to create a ui and you can start using it import it into figma and start using it right away it is as easy as that and if you want to make any edits you can click on this edit theme option change the color scheme the corner radius font and all that and if you want to make any specific changes you can go ahead and ask the ai to do it so this is how simple it is to use stitch from google that is completely free to use and if you want to try the same i'll make sure to leave links to that in the description below and you can go check them out and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one